Well, we expected um, the USGS to come out with some kind of a statement concerning what's happening in California. The California earthquake situation. Two million earthquakes rock South California in Caltech's discovery. This is by Sebastian Ketley on Express UK. South California earthquake geologists discover nearly two million tremors up to now have seemingly avoided all detection. The California earthquake silently rocked the U.S. state between uh, the last 10 years, 2008 to 2017. Geologists at Caltech, California Institute of Technology, trawled through 10 years' worth of seismic data, and they pinpoint the tremors, the new tremors there. The incredible earthquake discovery expanded South California's catalog of known earthquakes from 180,000 to an astonishing 1.8 million. Caltech's geologists published their findings recently, just two days ago, April 18, in a peer review journal, Science. Zachary Ross, the student's, uh, the study's lead author, said it's not that we did not know these small earthquakes were occurring. The problem is that they can be very difficult to spot amid all of the noise. Uh, the same thing is going on, by the way, in the area of Yellowstone. They're a lot more recorded than are being reported. Now, the California earthquakes were numerous but relatively weak between magnitude 1.7 and 2.0. And according to U.S. Geological Survey, any tremor between magnitude 1.0 and 3.0 is not felt except by very few under especially favorable conditions. The earthquakes were so small they were particularly undistinguishable from construction work or the rumble of cars, for example. But new data shows earthquakes across Southern California are a much more frequent occurrence than what they thought before. Now, until now, the earthquake was estimated to erupt to be to uh, um, uh, be erupt somewhere in the East Coast state once every three, uh, once every 30 minutes on average, with a tenfold spike in frequency. Geologists now believe that the estimated seismic events are triggered. In California, I hope you're sitting down when you hear this, every three minutes. There's an earthquake in California every three minutes. This, in turn, translates to about 495 earthquakes every day in Southern California. And uh, let's remember that this is an area full of not only faults, but volcanic areas as well. In order to detect the minor tremors, geologists use a technique known as template matching. Caltech explained the statement that said to overcome the low signal-to-noise ratio, the team turned to a, te a technique known as template matching, in which slightly larger and more easily identifiable earthquakes are used as templates to illustrate what an earthquake signal at a given location should look like. When, we, when a likely candidate with the matching waveform is identified, the researchers then scan records from nearby seismometers to see whether the earthquake signal had been recorded elsewhere and could be independently verified. So now that scientists are very sure that these discoveries will help institutions like the U.S. Geological Survey better prepare for and detect earthquakes. Now the earthquakes were hidden quakes of 2016-2017. Uh, the Caltech uh, diagram shows here in colors. The, four, uh, the blue is um, uh, from four kilometers depth, uh, orange going to five or six kilometers depth, and red going to seven kilometers depth. According to USGS, California is a leading US state in uh, terms of damage by frequent earthquakes. California and Alaska both top the list for the highest number of natural, not man-made, tremors. The uh, USGS said it's well known that California, the Pacific Northwest, and Alaska all have frequent earthquakes, some of which are quite damaging. It's well known that California, the Pacific Northwest, and Alaska 
all have frequent quakes, some which are damagingly safe. Uh, some areas of the country are more at risk than others, but in fact, 42 of the 50 states could experience damaging ground shaking from an earthquake in 50 years, and 16 states have relatively high likelihood of experiencing damaging ground shaking. And with Liam Doyle reporting on Express UK a few days ago, California earthquakes, U.S. state of California, as they say, is overdue a rupturing earthquake after 100 years of drought. The earthquakes are consistently rocking parts of the world, especially the Pacific Ring of Fire, and where at least 30 are detected every single day. But one of the world's most earthquake-prone areas has been unusually quiet for the past 100 years. And a U.S. Geological Survey study conducted observes three faults under California, which is particularly earthquake-prone, and they've been quiet for the last 100 years. These faults are where some of the world's tectonic plates consist constantly moving sections of the Earth's crust, which make up the continents, are grinding together, and they should cause regular activity. Other parts of the world have been seeing major activity around these areas, and earthquakes with high magnitudes are commonly detected. Now, the three plates sitting under California have been muted. They've been very silent, and experts believe this indicates an incoming period of seismic unrest. They, uh, they foresee an uptick in seismic activity there. California, as we know, is situated above three important faults, all of which carry a significant load. The San Andreas Fault, the San Jacinto Fault, and the Hayward Fault. Separate, uh, they separate the Pacific and the North American continental plates. When these plates grind together, they can cause minor tremors, which are felt on the surface, but the major concern is when these plates start to give. The plates, at one point, are expected to push upwards, triggering ground rupturing earthquakes. And as we know, this is one of the worst areas in the world, uh, which can give uh, a strike to earthquake, meaning that it can be preceded by a sonic boom before a, a, a minimum 7.5 magnitude to even up to a 9 magnitude, you can have a couple of seconds to get under a table or under a door frame or something to protect yourself before the big quake comes. There is no way for scientists to predict exactly when this might happen, but looking at the geological record can give them an idea of exactly how the Earth should behave in this area. And according to their statistics, their average, the average number of ground rupturing earthquakes every 100 years is four. And researchers believe the next century will see even more than this. The last time ground rupturing earthquake was detected was in 1918. And before then, there were six ground rupturing earthquakes the 100 years before that, from 1800 to 1900. And a further two earthquakes between 1900 and 1918. The figures say that California is now overdue a number of earthquakes. John Vidal, seismologist and former director of the Southern California Earthquake Center, said the rate is expected to rise in the next 100 years. Talking to Mashable, he said, it's reasonable that if there's a long quiescence, we would expect a higher rate for the next 100 years. Researchers of the paper, authored by the USGS, have said the probability of more earthquakes is now double what it would normally be. One of the paper's authors told Live Science, the next century has to be busier than the last one. Our study suggests that those probabilities are somewhat higher. Now, thankfully for Californians, this does not mean the state will see an earthquake storm, or does this mean an earthquake is imminent? Vidali said, it's not that the odds of the quake skyrocket, the danger might be doubled, but not everything is overdue. It's not 10 months pregnant. If you'd like to join me on my Patreon account, 
you will hear content not covered by mainstream media. These riveting stories will be based on my research and I will state my opinions and give my personal insight on diverse and controversial subjects and world events, events not covered by mainstream media, and not certainly on not supported by YouTube guidelines. So whatever I have on my Patreon, most of those will not be on my YouTube channel. Please consider becoming a member today. More of the, the most significant and important videos will be on my Patreon channel. Your support helps me to continue my research and keeps this YouTube channel alive. And we depend on your support, your generous charity, because we help economically challenged families here in Athens, Greece, and Kapota, and we also help the young generation with university tuition and the community around our church. Thank you.